Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And yeah, guys, our time here is actually fast approaching, and I haven't gotten through all of it. That's why I have been contemplating possibly getting the other DLC for two reasons. One, so that I continue, and the other one is so that I can get all the gear that comes with that one, especially the two extra large rods. Because I am only in the 60s, it's going to be a long time before I can get the big sea rods. And that's going to actually help me if I go to the Amazonian maze or any place like that where we're trying to catch extremely large fish like the bull shark. So, I might just do that, guys, honestly. Because I really do want to continue doing this for a while. Well, let me take a look here. We have got one more, th two more that we need to catch. We need to catch some really large fish by bottom fishing. Uh, technically speaking, I think the grouper are going to be the biggest that we can get, but there are some others that will bite off the bottom. Big eye tuna, some of the uh, other species of tuna, like the Pacific bluefin, but I think we're going to have a little more luck trying to go after the giant grouper. And on the map right now, I'm actually up here. I tried down here for a little bit, and I got some young ones, but the last time I was here, I did manage to get not only a regular giant grouper but a trophy so the only trophy that I've caught so far I'd like to catch some more be nice but anyway let's see what happens guys I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out before I do that let me check and see what the ray the I want to scary call it radar again sonar yeah we do have some fish down there and there are some big ones And there's a few yep there we go I think this is probably where we're gonna have to do this let's see if we can't get something to bite and we are going into a peak so that's a good sign too I'm not 100% certain that the peak makes that much of a difference but I'll take what I can get here it's not real real deep either so I'm just going to put it just off the bottom here. It's not seriously deep. Hopefully there's not going to be too much of a weight. Now, while I'm sitting here, I might just see what I could catch with my poker here. There we go. Got something that time. And it hit pretty hard. Yeah, usually I have a lot of luck with the bottom fishing. It's like right now, lately, it's kind of. They've kind of backed off. Yeah, I might change my bait over to something a little more generic. Let's see what we got here. Greater Amberjack. Always glad to get these guys. Pretty good XP, pretty good cash.
There we go. We seem to be doing a lot better with the pilking than the bottom fishing. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> but I'm still having fun. Ooh, he is... I thought I had him in there, but he's, he's taken off with it. Now, this is probably another greater amberjack or something like it. Or maybe something bigger. Been a while since I caught a giant trevally. I'm trying to remember what the biggest giant trevally was that I caught. They might be big enough if they're of unique size. I don't know. Dogtooth tuna. Always a good one to get. And they can come that big. 13,000 cash. Yeah, they don't bring as much XP. They bring more cash than they do XP. This is a good bite. Oh, yeah. That's a good bite. Now we're talking. Now we're playing with gas. Playing with gas? Cooking with gas. <laughs> playing with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's see how big this fellow is, or whatever he is. He, at this point, I just want to get something to complete that darn mission. Let's see what's after that. I think after that one, we might be moving on with the fill the entire boat mission. Maybe. Okay, whatever it is. Now, I will tell you one thing. Grouper is a little misleading. As big as they are, they're not seriously hard fighters like some species of the same size. A marlin in the same size will kick your butt. Groupers, they're kind of more like... They fight more like a catfish does. Brute strength. Marlin, they're trying to use their stamina and their agility to get out of it. Which is what makes them so darn tough. This is a big fish. Whatever it is, it's it might meet our qualifications. So at this point it won't probably won't even matter. He keeps taking it out. Yeah, this is not... I don't think it's a tuna. It's just not fighting like... Well, that's a tuna move. <laughs> Could be a dog tooth tuna. A big one. You gotta be kidding. I got him that close and then... He's taking it back out again. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a big fish. Come on, man. You are really giving me a fight. What the heck have I got? He is taking it out again. I had him under 20 feet away, and then he just shot off again. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss at this point. I'm not sure what this thing is. I know he's big. That's about all I know. Just because of, I almost think I have him, and he just, he's doing it again. He's taking off. I 
had him again. Sorry about my dogs. We got him. We got him. What is this guy? Trophy Giant Trevally. Not big enough. God bless it. <laughs> Tech on it. <laughs> oh. Nice. Nice cash. Nice XP. Just not big enough. Oh, man. He was a fight. He was a heck of a fighter. Hmm. Now this is where I caught the trophy Joe fish right, right here last time. But you gotta kinda let it go down a ways. Probably to about right there. And then start retrieving. It's not very deep, like I said. And even though they're a bottom fish, they don't necessarily have to be deep. Shoot, something bit it. There we go. This could be what we're after. Let's see what we got here, guys. Is it a job fish? Trophy job fish, and it's a personal record. Nice. Very nice. Still not a unique, but it is a personal record. I will take that. I will take that. I am happy with that at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this has been kind of a tough day here. It's like the fish have been very elusive to me today. I don't know why. But he's a pretty fish. We'll get a picture of him. I actually got two. I didn't mean for that to happen. I got a bite off of this one. Keep our fingers crossed. This could be. If it's a big fin, it's a big one. Please, 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 please. Nah, I don't know. Whatever it is, I think it's too big. Of course, I've never caught a unique one, so I don't know how much power they've got. Nah, it's a fish. It's just a fish. Japanese amberjack. Doggone it. Any other time I'd be thrilled to death. But, you know, right now I'm trying to get a specific thing. I just have this feeling that the unique job fish is right here somewhere. It's just a matter of getting his attention. There we go. Got something. I don't know. It might be too big. Unless it's a unique joke fish. Let's see what it is. Nope, trophy app, Japanese amberjack. It's a nice fish, though. Not what we're after. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, we have a bite on this one, though. Let's see. They've been biting on this pretty heavy, but it's not really been what I'm after here. Holy crap, am I... Yeah, if you're wondering what that sound is, that is my albino dachshund named Snoopy. He hears something, so he's losing his ever-loving mind. <laughs> you've never seen a, an albino dachshund? Check out my channel sometime. There are some videos of him. He's extremely cute. He's really, really spoiled out of his mind. Another greater amberjack. 
But I love him. But he can be a pain in the butt at times. <laughs> As all dogs can be. That just seems to go with the territory for dogs. Especially dachshunds. Dachshunds spoil very easily. And I take all the blame. Okay, we got something here. I think we might be what we're after here, guys, finally. I don't know. I'm certainly so hoping so because we haven't gotten what we've needed here after several tries. But I did go ahead and move to another location. This spot was where I caught the trophy giant grouper last time. And I did catch him in the evening. Yeah, I think I've got one this time. I think we've actually might complete this now. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, because once you get in the right spot, they are easy to catch. My mistake was not marking them very well. Now, it could be a young one, so if it's a young one, it may not have enough weight. I think the regular ones do tend to run within the weight limit that we're trying to reach. This one is definitely giving me a good fight. Almost there. He's he's close. He's close. Yep. I, well, I thought I had him. <laughs> he keeps. He just keeps getting out of reach. There we go. We got him. Nope. Is he young giant grouper and still not quite big enough? 126 pounds. Again, just a baby, but we are in the right location. Might need to, I don't know, I think the sinker, I mean the hook is about the right size. You just need to keep at it. All right, we got, a, got another bite. I'm hoping this is not a young one. Very hard to tell. These guys are such brutes. I mean, they're not super fighters like the marlin are, or even some of the tuna, but they are strong as heck. They fight more like a catfish, really. But I tend to get a lot of the young ones out here. This could be a bigger one, though. He is really pulling hard. Yeah, I think we might actually have a regular one this time. Whether it's a trophy or not, I couldn't tell you, but... Yep, I think we might have 
at least a regular giant grouper. I don't know if we got a trophy one or not, but I kind of like to see if it's if the regular ones come within the 198.42 or better pound range. Oh yeah, this is definitely not a young one. Oh, look at the dolphins. Here they go. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a big fish. And even if it's not a grouper, it's probably still big enough. Several moments later... Can't seem to get him past enough to bring him in. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There, finally. Yep, he is just a regular giant grouper, but he is more than big enough. 272. So you can imagine how big the trophy ones have to get. 272, that's pretty good size. Let's take a look at this fella. Yeah, he's a, he's a big one. I think he's on the upper end, to be honest. He's got to be on the upper end of things. And there's one of them. 35, 488. We just got to get one more. And, if, well, before I do that any further, I'm not going to forget this time. Daggone it. I keep doing that. Let's set a mark for that fish. So that's where I caught him. And that's where we're going to cast it again. Now, I think the last time we got us a young one that I marked on here. We're going to let it drop down as much as we can. But they definitely do some serious biting here. Now, when I did the last episode that I caught it, the trophy one in, I did not provide the coordinates, which honestly was the same location that I had been sent to catch the job fish, which is why I didn't. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to you guys now because this is the, the best spot for these guys. Let me go ahead and give it to you here. Let's see. It is 1700.98 minus 8, 65.63. I see I got the young giant one there. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove that because he wasn't too far from the navigation board. We need to be close to this area here. So anywhere within this location, let's kind of check the sonar a little bit. That tends to help too. But you can kind of see, look at them all. We are in the thick of things. All right, looks like we got we're getting another bite. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that he's got it. I think he does. Come on. Well, he, well, there for a minute I thought I lost him. <laughs> he went slack there for some reason. Yeah, I can't yet tell just how big he is. But if it turns out that he's really big, we're going to end up having to come back because 
We're definitely taking a lot of time. Yeah, this guy might be the one we need, guys. Look at him go. Yep. This may be him. That'll finish this off and we can move on. But I'm going to have to fight him. Well, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I can tell you one thing. It's not going to be easy. But as soon as I get done, I will bring you back. Much, much, much later. I don't know how big it is, but we did complete it. You are not allowed to fish on boat without an advanced license. The fine is... Well, I'm going to go ahead and buy the license. I'm fine with buying a license. Wow, that was close. Yep, I have to buy the license to get... to keep going. Wasn't sure if I was going to get... Okay, so I can actually stay here August 6th. It was a license I ran on on. Let me go ahead and get that. Then I can keep that, but that's a trophy giant grouper, guys. At 375 pounds. I'm not sure if that's that beats my old record or not, but he's big. That's for darn sure. I knew I had something big. Let's take a look at this fellow. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. That is a big, big fish. And that meets all our requirements. That meets all our requirements. Can't even see myself behind that guy. The lighting's real good right now, too. I like the way that she just kind of looks shiny. <laughs> but yeah, that's how big he is, guys. Got a good picture of him. Keep him. And we need to make our way back to the port administrator. Probably the easiest way to do that is just to click over here. And then click back. Now, thing is, he's not here right now. He, yeah, I have to come back the next day. Can you believe that? <laughs> no, that's fine. We'll come back the next day. Oh, my access to Kajiri is expired too. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna have to leave. Shoot, I can't finish. Yep, I have to have level 83, which I am still only 67. But, trust me guys, I am going to have to get that purchased. I just don't have the ability to at the moment. But anyway guys, when I do come back, I will go to the board administrator and we will go on to the next of the levels. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast forward, have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.